the coronavirus and new information on the development of COVID vaccines, there is a close eye on Houston and our medical center here as late stage vaccine trials are underway. The Surgeon General in town today talking about the mission. Andy Sirota is live outside of Baylor College of Medicine in the Med Center with more now. Andy. Lauren, good evening. Baylor College of Medicine playing a crucial role in two of the most important components in the fight against COVID-19. The development of a safe and effective vaccine and the next most promising treatment for the virus. Not because we are cutting Two of the country's top health officials, Health and Human Service Deputy Secretary Eric Hargan and U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams, both say there are many reasons to be optimistic in the fight against COVID-19. Four vaccines are now in phase three human trials, including one at Baylor College of Medicine, being conducted under Operation Warp Speed, and they are nearing the finish line in terms of having one available. There are no safety corners being cut here. Uh, it's really about buying down the risk by doing multiple steps at the same time that normally would have taken months and in most cases years to accomplish in a stepwise fashion. Health officials say they won't support a vaccine's approval unless the trial includes a large and diverse group of volunteers. Baylor's doing a lot in this space to make sure when we have a vaccine, that it's safe and effective, that people trust it. Getting one across the finish line from a research point of view is only step one of the process. We will have hopefully a number of vaccines and hopefully we will have them produced that could be produced at the same time. The Department of Health and Human Services released its initial vaccine distribution plan last week. What they discovered was delivering substantial quantities of one, which health officials say could happen by the end of the year, will logistically be the hardest vaccine distribution in history. In history. Uh, we got some vaccines that are two doses. We got some vaccines that are one dose. We have some vaccines that have to be kept uh, refrigerated in a, at a incredibly cold temperature. The U.S. Surgeon General says our country is now in a much better position to respond and handle a surge in cases in part because of COVID treatment studies like the one being done here at Baylor College of Medicine on remdesivir. He also says we don't treat our way out of a pandemic. We prevent our way out of it. That being said, he is urging everyone to continue washing their hands, wearing a mask and excuse me, uh, washing their hands, wearing a mask and watching their distance. Live in the Texas Medical Center tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Andy.